Did you know that the first Terminator film had a budget of just eight and a half million dollars? In the grand scheme of Hollywood blockbusters, that's a mere sliver of the usual budget, but that's exactly what the creators of the iconic Terminator had to work with. Now, don't be fooled into thinking that a smaller budget equates to a smaller vision. In fact, it was quite the opposite. The team behind the Terminator took that modest budget and transformed it into a cinematic masterpiece that would forever leave its mark on pop culture. My personal favorite fun fact, Terminator features a very young Bill Paxton playing the young blue-haired punk. Yes, the twister guy himself. R.I.P. Bill. Paxton may have sported one of the greatest mohawks of all time. The constraints of the budget did not hinder the film's success, but rather, it fueled the creativity of the team. Each dollar was stretched, each scene meticulously planned to make the most of their limited resources. This careful planning and resourcefulness would eventually result in one of the most iconic films of the 20th century. And what about our beloved Terminator himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger? Well, he earned a modest $75,000 for his role in the first film. It's hard to imagine now, considering the superstar status he holds today, but back then he was still a rising star in the industry. His casting was a risk, but it was one that paid off immensely. Schwarzenegger's portrayal of the Terminator was so compelling, so unforgettable, that it became a defining role in his career. Despite the budget constraints and the modest earnings, the first Terminator film was a triumph. It was a testament to the power of creativity, of resourcefulness, and of taking risks. It proved that a film's success is not solely determined by its budget, but by the passion and dedication of the people behind it. And so with a mere $8.5 million budget and a $75,000 paycheck for Schwarzenegger, the first film set the stage for an iconic series. A series that, despite its humble beginnings, would go on to break records, redefine the genre, and captivate audiences around the world. Fast forward to Terminator 2, and we see a record-breaking budget of $102 million. Now that's a serious leap from the original's humble $8.5 million, isn't it? In the early 90s, this kind of budget was unheard of, propelling Terminator 2 into the history books as the most expensive movie ever produced at the time. This wasn't just a sequel, it was a cinematic event that set a new benchmark for Hollywood. The budget wasn't the only thing that saw a monumental increase. Let's talk about Arnold Schwarzenegger's paycheck, shall we? The Austrian Oak, as he's affectionately known, earned a respectable $75,000 for his role in the first film. But when it came to Terminator 2, his salary skyrocketed to a whopping $15 million. Yes, you heard me right, from $75,000 to $15 million. If that's not a testament to Schwarzenegger's rising star power, I don't know what is. But it wasn't just about throwing money around. The producers knew that to make a sequel that surpassed the original, they had to invest heavily. Every dollar of that colossal budget is visible on the screen from the groundbreaking special effects to the thrilling action sequences. The film's ambition was matched only by its budget, and it paid off. Terminator 2 wasn't just a record-breaking production, it was a record-breaking success. It raked in over $500 million worldwide, making it one of the highest-grossing films of the 90s. It's safe to say that Terminator 2 didn't just break records, it smashed them to smithereens. In the end, the gamble on a mega-budget sequel paid off, both critically and commercially. Terminator 2 became a monumental success, a cultural phenomenon that continues to resonate with audiences even today. The film set a new standard for blockbuster cinema, proving that sometimes, to make a big splash, you have to dive into the deep end. With a budget to match its ambitions, Terminator 2 truly made a splash in the film industry. And what a splash it was! The ripples of its impact can still be felt today, shaping the way we perceive and produce blockbuster movies. Guess who did most of his own stunts in the famed motorcycle chase sequence? Yes, it was Schwarzenegger himself. Now that's not something you hear every day. But then again, the Terminator series isn't just any everyday movie franchise. Imagine this, Schwarzenegger, astride a roaring Harley Davidson tearing through the streets at breakneck speed with the cool precision of a machine. No, not a stunt double. This was Arnold himself, embodying the relentless cyborg we all came to know and fear. The motorcycle chase scene from Terminator 2 is etched in the annals of film history as one of the most thrilling sequences ever shot. This wasn't a case of an actor merely dabbling in stunts for the thrill of it. 
Schwarzenegger trained extensively, honing his motorcycle skills to perform those high-octane stunts. It took courage, determination, and sheer physical prowess. It was a testament to his commitment to the role and his desire to deliver an authentic performance. The motorcycle chase sequence is often hailed as a master class in action filmmaking. It's a high-speed ballet of man and machine, a symphony of roaring engines, screeching tires, and heart-stopping near misses. The scene is a perfect blend of suspense, thrill, and adrenaline-pumping action that leaves you clutching the edge of your seat. Schwarzenegger's dedication to performing his own stunts added a layer of realism to the film. When you see him navigating that big, heavy motorcycle with ease and precision, you believe in the Terminator's superhuman abilities. It's not just a character on the screen, it's a living, breathing entity. The motorcycle chase isn't just a spectacular action sequence, it's a showcase of Schwarzenegger's commitment to his craft. It's a testament to his willingness to push the boundaries and take risks to deliver a memorable performance. The motorcycle chase will forever remain a legendary piece of cinema history, a testament to the power of practical effects and a tribute to Schwarzenegger's skills as a true action hero. Schwarzenegger proved he was not only an actor, but also a skilled stuntman, adding to the film's authenticity. And there you have it, folks, the story behind one of cinema's most legendary chase sequences, the man, the myth, the Terminator. Edward Furlong, who played John Connor in Terminator 2, had no previous acting experience. Yes, you heard that right. In the world of Hollywood, where experience and connections often dictate success, Edward Furlong's story stands as a testament to the unpredictability of fate. Furlong wasn't raised in the shadowy corners of acting schools or groomed under the tutelage of seasoned thespians. Instead, he was a regular kid spending his time at the Boys and Girls Club of Pasadena, unaware of the whirlwind his life was about to become. One day, casting director Marty Finn found herself at this very club. Finn, an eagle-eyed talent scout, had a knack for spotting diamonds in the rough. And it was here, amidst the cacophony of playful banter and the mirth of youthful exuberance, she spotted Furlong. His cool, streetwise aura captivated her. There was something about him that screamed, John Connor. Furlong was invited for an audition, a prospect as exciting as it was daunting for the inexperienced youngster. His first reading was shaky, as expected. He was a raw talent, unpolished and untrained. But Finn saw potential, a spark that could ignite into a brilliant performance with just a bit of kindling. She advocated for him, convinced the director to give him another shot, a second chance to prove himself. And prove himself, he did! Furlong aced his second audition, transforming from a nervous novice to a confident performer. It was as if John Connor had walked right out of the script and stood before the director. Furlong's casting was a gamble that paid off tremendously. His portrayal of John Connor remains iconic, a testament to his innate talent and the magic of serendipity. And to think all of it hinged on a decision to spend a day at the Boys and Girls Club. It's hard to imagine Terminator 2 without Furlong's performance. Sometimes fate plays a role in casting too. From a small-budget film to a record-breaking sequel, the Terminator series has truly become a part of cinematic history. With an initial budget of a mere $8.5 million, the franchise proved its worth by upping the ante with a staggering $102 million for the sequel. Arnold Schwarzenegger, initially paid $75,000, saw a meteoric rise in his salary to a cool $15 million for Terminator 2. Schwarzenegger's dedication to the role didn't stop at acting. He performed most of his own stunts, including those heart-stopping motorcycle chases. And let's not forget the unexpected star Edward Furlong, who was plucked from obscurity and cast as John Connor. Furlong's raw, authentic performance remains a testament to the power of chance encounters. The Terminator series, full of surprises both on and off-screen, continues to captivate audiences worldwide.